Hello, welcome back once again. Today we have Harvard University problem. Here we're going to evaluate the powers, that is the seventh powers of irrational numbers, right? They are very irrational. We have 1 plus root 3 divided by 2 all to the power of 7 minus 1 minus root 3 divided by 2 all to the power of 7. And here we're not going to make use of calculators. So bear this in mind. Now let's see how we're going to solve this problem. In this video, I'll be presenting only one solution and that will be algebraic manipulations. So for my solution, we're going to let A equals this first expression here inside this bracket, which is one plus root three divided by two. And we're going to let B equals the expression in the second bracket, which is 1 minus root 3 divided by 2. So we cannot see that we are here to evaluate a to the power of 7 minus b to the power of 7, right? Okay. Now from here we can obtain nice equations when we sum a and b and when we find their products. So here we have a plus b equals here. We're going to split this denominator that will be 1 over 2 plus root 3 over 2 that is for a then plus for b that will be 1 over 2 minus root 3 over 2 so from here we get a plus b equals here this cancel this right because that will be 0 1 over 2 plus 1 over 2 that will give us 1 then what about their product so a b will be equal to the product of 1 over 2 plus root 3 all over 2, right? So we have 1 over 2 plus root 3 over 2. Then multiply by 1 over 2 minus root 3 over 2, of which we can make use of the difference of two squares formula, right? You know, when we have a plus b multiplied by a minus b, this is same as a squared minus b squared. So from here, a times b will be equal to 1 over 2 squared, that will give us 1 over 4, minus root 3 over 2 squared, that will give us 3 all over 4, and of which we get negative 1 over 2. So here we have our equation 1, and from here we get our equation 2. <coughs> okay, now let us think about the product of a cubed plus b cubed and a to the power of 4 minus b to the power of 4. We can see that when we find these products, we have this multiplied by this, that we got a to the power of 7 minus this multiplied by the second term here, that will give us a cubed b to the power of 4. Then plus, is that plus? Okay, yeah. So we have b cubed times a to the power of 4. That will give us a to the power of 4 times b cubed. And here, minus b to the power of 7. So actually, we can see that the expression we're going to evaluate, a to the power of 7 minus b to the power of 7, it's showing up somewhere here, right? So actually, we can group this as a cubed plus b cubed multiplied by a to the power of 4 minus b to the power of 4, which is equal to a to the power of 7 minus b to the power of 7 and from here we have to factor out a b to the power of 3 and we are left with a minus b okay actually this would be a plus right yes so that would be plus not minus yes because here a cubed b cubed times a here will give us a to the power of 4 times b cubed which is positive here right okay so here let's make this expression here the subject so here we get a raised to the power of 7 minus b raised to the power of 7 equals here a cubed plus b cubed multiplied by a to the power of 4 minus b to the power of 4 minus a times b to the power of 3 into bracket a minus b Okay, now, 
The next here is to find the value of a minus b. After that, we find the value of a cubed plus b cubed, and finally, we find the value of a to the power of 4 minus b to the power of 4. Okay, but before we proceed, let us take note that a to the power of 4 minus b to the power of 4, we can write it as a squared squared minus b squared squared, of which you can apply the difference of two squares formula, and from here, we get a squared plus b squared multiplied by a squared minus b squared, and from here, we can still apply the difference of two squares formula here, right? But let's leave it like this. Then, let us recall from equation 1 that a plus b equals 1, and a b equals negative 1 over 2, which is our equation 2. Now, let's square both sides of this equation. And from here, let us make use of this property that a plus b squared can be written as a minus b squared, then plus 4 times a times b, and from the right, this equals 1. So from here, we are looking for a minus b, and we're expecting it to be positive, right? And here, a, b is negative 1 over 2. So 4 times negative 1 over 2 will give us negative 2, which is equal to 1. Add 2 to both sides and take the root. Of both sides, we get a minus b equals root 3. Now from here, from here we can actually find the value of a squared minus b squared, right? Which is involved in this expression here. From the right hand side of this equation, so, and that would be a plus b multiplied by a minus b. From here we get a squared minus b squared equals, this is 1 multiplied by root 3 which should give us root 3. Okay, now let's go ahead and find the value of a squared plus b squared, right? Remember, we're done with the value of a minus b, a squared minus b squared, then let's go for a squared plus b squared, and finally, a cubed plus b cubed, right? Okay. Now, from where we stopped, so we have already a plus b equals 1. We have that a times b equals negative 1 over 2, right? We also have a minus b equals root 3. And we also have a squared minus b squared equals root 3. Now, let's square both sides of equation 1. When you expand this, we get a squared plus b squared plus 2 times a times b, which is equal to 1. And from here, we are looking for a squared plus b squared, right? And a times b is negative 1 over 2. When we substitute here, we get 2 times negative 1 over 2, which will give us negative 1. And when we add 1 to both sides, we find out that a squared plus b squared equals 1 plus 1, which is 2. So we can find the value of a to the power of 4 minus b to the power of 4 along, so which is a squared plus b squared minus, I mean, multiplied by a squared minus b squared, and this will give us 2 multiplied by here, root 3, which is obviously 2 root 3. Okay, so what are we going to do next? So we're going to find the value of a cubed plus b cubed, which are going to use this property that this equals a plus b cubed minus 3 times a times b into bracket a plus b. And from here we get 1 cubed minus 3 times negative 1 over 2 times 1. So of which when you properly evaluate this, we get 1 plus 3 over 2, which will give us 5 over 2 right okay so from here we're going to evaluate the expression given which is a to the power of 7 minus b to the power of 7 right which is equal to a cubed plus b cubed multiplied by a to the power of 4 minus b to the power of 4 minus 
a b to the power of 3 into bracket a minus b so from here this will be equal to the value of this which is 5 all over 2 yes so we have 5 over 2 multiplied by the value of a to the power of 4 minus b to the power of 4 which is 2 root 3 minus here the value of a b is negative 1 over 2 then when it is cubed it is also cubed and the a minus b which is root 3 so we multiply by root 3 so from here this equals here 2 cancel 2 here we have 5 root 3 remember this power here is odd so we're expecting a negative value and with this negative sign here that will become plus and that will be 1 over 8 right then we have root 3 over 8 so from here we can write 5 root 3 as 40 root 3 over 8 to obtain the same denominator right so we can easily sum the numerators and from here we get our final answer which is 40 root 3 plus root 3 which is 41 root of 3 then divided by 8 and this is the right answer thank you for watching please kindly subscribe to my channel also like comment and share bye bye yeah.